This puzzle destroys geniuses. It's a red X inside of a, uh, a glass cup, two chopsticks, and the goal of the puzzle is to get the red X out of the glass uh, without touching it. You can only use the chopsticks. And here's the problem. The X is bigger than the hole in the cup. The bottom is a lot bigger than the top of the cup where you drink out of. And uh, it, no matter how you face this X, it does not want to come out. I can show you this using just one chopstick. If you try to do it sideways, you run out there. If you try to do it uh, with the point going towards the bottle, it will rotate itself uh, so it's got two things going to the bottle. And last, if you put it uh, flat on the bottle and you try to get it out that way, that's the hardest way of all because it's just too big. So our goal is to figure out how to get this out of the bottle using only these two chopsticks. And I'm pretty sure uh, that we're gonna be taking the X apart because you can see it's made of two pieces. Uh, if you look on the bottom there, you can see this piece uh, is connected on the bottom. This one's broken. If you look at the top though, it's the opposite way around, almost suggesting that these pieces could just come out like that if you pulled them apart. Oh, I think it's gonna be more complicated than that. Luckily, I'm uh, good with uh, chopsticks, so I can see if I lift just one of the edges there, uh, it's not coming off. If it was as simple as two pieces like that, it would come off there. Now, I can try uh, pulling the one piece off more, and I'm gonna try to pull it all the way up, and then the sides of the glass, the edges, should pull the other piece down if I get a really good grip on it. So here I'm really uh, choking up on these chopsticks, but there's resistance there. That, that piece, it looks like this piece going side to side should lift up if they were just connected there, but those pieces are together pretty tight. So we have to figure out how to separate these pieces using the chopsticks. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try pushing down uh, on one of the pieces with both the chopsticks there, and maybe this will somehow dislodge the middle piece. Maybe I can even hold this there. So I'm holding the one piece there, and now we flip the bottle upside down. Let me get a good grip on it. And then we'll see if the piece that I'm not holding down will fall out on its own. No. I can try shaking it. That didn't do much of anything. Now it could be, I like this uh, solution, it could be the other way. So let me see if, oh, maybe I can flip this over. Gotta just flip this over. No, that didn't flip. Let's see. All right, we got it flipped around there. Now I'm gonna try holding the other piece down. Okay, and now let's see if that will fall on its own. Now it won't fall on its own, but you can see where holding the one piece, in this case it would be the top and the bottom, would make it seem like that other piece could go down. Hmm, so what else can we do with chopsticks with this in there? We can try to, I don't know if this would make a difference, but rather than gripping one piece, let's see if I grip both pieces at once. Now I'm grabbing through the X and we'll see if, no, that's not getting it out. That does allow me to keep it perfectly uh, parallel to the base of the glass, but that's not helping us. Hmm. Yeah, that's not helping much either. Uh, okay, what if we turn this upside down? I'm just trying to think outside the box here. And what if I just poke it a lot? Maybe it'll dislodge something inside of these red bars. Now, it's frustrating because you, ju you just want to take the chopsticks and pick it out, but we have to do something to get these pieces apart. All right, what else can be done? Let's see, if we put it sideways, I can try rather than squeezing these together, I can, uh, if I push them here and here in the middle, right, then I can use the base of this as leverage and I can try pushing those pieces there to see if they will maybe pry out on their own. 
So I'll take the two chopsticks, I'll put one on each one of the sides there, see that? And now I will use the base, because that's not gonna move, and I'll just try to push this in. No, I can feel I'm not getting any leverage. What if I go this way? All right, that's at least firmer. So now I can push down on the pieces against the edge of the base. Ah, but that's not doing much of anything. Let's think. Spin the thing and then take these out. Take it out. Now. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna, it's gonna look like a cheat, but I'm not cheating. I'm, I'm just gonna hold this and shake it. Okay, I wasn't, I, I touched it, which you're not supposed to do, but uh, I, I wasn't getting anything out. I just wanted to shake it to hear if there's any pieces inside of the red X, and there were. Listen to this. Hear that? That's not just the, the two pieces rubbing against each other. There is something inside of this red X and that makes sense, because each part of the red X is, I don't know if you could see it, but there's actually a slit running through each of the pieces, which to me indicates that there was, uh, these two were fused together. You didn't just have a simple mold that made the pieces in that uh, C shape. Each of the, the halves of the red thing is composed of two. So, gosh, maybe it's magnets. We've seen that a lot. We've seen ball bearings inside other things where you just have to shift the ball bearing, let's see, could there be a magnet in one side of these chopsticks? Let's see if we feel any stickiness there. No, there's no magnets. So maybe it's a ball bearing in there and we have to get the ball bearing to the right side. And if we get it to the side, it might unlock something. So let's try tapping this here. So now if there's a ball bearing in this piece, it will move to the bottom. Okay, that didn't do much. We'll tap it on the other side. Now I'm trying to lift it straight up to see if that maybe unlocked something. No, let's flip it around. That didn't do anything. I'm tapping it on each one of the sides. <laughs> see, I keep it real with these videos with the sneezing. <laughs> Other people would edit it out. But I just go, because I want you guys to see that this is real. Huh, what can we do to... Hmm. I could spin it in there. What if we... No, it doesn't spin. I could try spinning it with both. It doesn't want to spin, even. Well, maybe. Let's see, did that do anything? It... Huh, that feels a little looser. It's like the, the two pieces are coming out of it. Gosh, I wish I could spin it faster. Let's see. Hmm, maybe I'll try it on the other side. Okay, we'll flip this over. Go on over. Now I gotta spin it with these. Let's see, give it a spin. I'm gonna try spinning the other direction. Yeah, it spins a little better. All right, let's see if that loosened up. Gosh, they're, de they're definitely shakier than before. Hmm. Maybe, maybe there's weights in in both of them, and you have to spin one and then spin it the other way? Or no, it could be what I was doing, spinning one side then the other side, but it's like when I flipped it over, it probably reset. When I picked the glass up and I was flipping over the X, that might have been the issue. So if there's a way to flip it over, I'm trying to get a good spin, all right, that's a pretty good spin. Let's see if this has done it. No. So how do I flip this over without dislodging the ball bearing? Well, I would have to keep the glass as is. Yeah, and then just 
flip it over like this. Gently flip it over. All right, let's spin it the other way. Hmm, let's see if this did it. Oh, oh, it didn't do it, but it's definitely getting looser. I think this is gonna be it. We, we just gotta give it a better spin. Mm hmm Okay. Let's see, did that do it? No. All right, now let's flip this over. I'm getting better at flipping it over within the bottle. That's good. Now let's spin this. That's a good spin. Okay. Oh! Ho! 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 Ha! Ha! Look at that! Let's shake that out. Look at this thing. That was it. So it, oh yeah. So, if, okay, so that's it. If you go, it's two separate pins, and I bet it's the same in here. Yeah, it's two separate pins. So if it goes this way, the top pin goes too far down. That way, the bottom pin goes too far down. But if you spin it, that opens up the connection between the pins. So here, we can see if this was opened up, and then, oh, it's so hard to set up. How did they even set this up inside the bottle for the first time? Let's see. That would be impossible to set up inside the bottle. Because look, the pins from one side, they go in to the X in the other side. But how would you even get this down? This is amazing. Okay, okay, so the pins went down. Now if I gently push that in there. Yeah, so now it's locked together. Um, but if we spin it, and yeah, you have to, you spin it here, you flip it over like that, you spin the other side. Wow, that's really hard to do. We spin this side, spin that side, and that comes off. That's amazing, and I see why this puzzle is destroying geniuses.